Hello guys, so today we will be solving a problem from RL circuit. Uh, here we have a circuit which contains a voltage source, two resistors and an inductor. Uh, switch is closed, closed at T equals to zero, which means we have initial currents as zero. And we are asked to find those currents as a function of time, as a function of time. So uh, let's start. Uh, first, we have, we can easily find I1, I1 is equal to this voltage across this resistor, which is V over R1. So this is our first answer. So for I2, we will again use this voltage here, V is equal to uh, the voltage the voltage drop here plus the voltage drop here. Let's write them as V R two plus V L. Uh, okay, let's continue. V is equal to V R two, which is equal to I two times R two, and V L which is equal to L times VI2 over DT. So we obtain the uh, differential equation here. We have to solve it. Uh, this is a separable equation. So we will put this here and this here, or otherwise, uh, and integrate. Let's continue. Uh, L times VI2 dt is equal to v minus i2 r2 and d i2 over v minus i2 r2 is equal to 1 over f dt so uh, let me check yeah, this is correct. So let's integrate. This is from 0 to t, initial tension is here. 0 to i2, let's try to write this. These are uh, the initial conditions. Uh, so let's continue here. This gives us ln. Uh, ln. minus I2 R2 divided by minus R2 from I2 is equal to 0 from 0 to I2 right. uh, this is equal to T over L from 0 to t. Uh, so if we continue, we will obtain ln v minus i2 r2 minus ln v is equal to t over l times minus minus r2. So now we will find I2. Let's put this here. Uh, Ln V minus I2 R2 is equal to minus T over L times R2 plus Ln V. Uh, we will take, take the exponential of these. From this, from this we have ln v minus i two r two. I not ln. This is equal to e to the power 
minus R2 over L times T. Uh, exponential is also here. So times e to the power ln v. We can put this down here like this. Uh, so from this, uh, we can see if we substitute the, substitute the initial conditions, this gives us one. We have v here, this is zero. So we can write v minus i2 r2 is equal to v e to the power minus r2 over l times t. If we continue from here, we can see i2 is equal to v over r2 uh, minus v over r2 times e to the power r2 over l times t. This is our answer for I2. So uh, now we have to find I3. Uh, if we write a Kirchhoff's current law here, we can see that I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. So um, I3 is equal to the sum of these. I won't write it here, but I3 is I1 plus I2. So this is all for this question. Uh, let me explain briefly again. I1 is found easily from here. I2, for, in order to find I2, we have found a differential equation here. And it's a separable equation, it's solved, and I2 is here. And I3 is because of the Kirchhoff's current law, I1 plus I2. Thank you for listening.